In the dense forests of Madagascar lurks a creature as mysterious as it is deadly. This elusive predator, the island's largest mammal carnivore, leads a life shrouded in mystery and intrigue. Known as the Fossa, Madagascar's top predator reigns supreme in the island's unique and diverse ecosystems. It has a cat-like appearance, resembling a small cougar. This agile hunter has the most widespread geographical range of any carnivore on the island, although the fossa is found in all known forest habitats throughout Madagascar, including the western dry deciduous forests, the eastern rainforests, and the southern spiny forests. It is seen more frequently in the humid forests. It also prefers the pristine, undisturbed forest habitat. This is because the reduced canopy in dry forests provides less shade and opportunity to hunt its prey. The fossa generally thrives in lush, green realms, perfectly adapted to life amidst the treetops and forest floors. In terms of size, the fossa measures about 70 to 80 centimeters, 27 to 32 inches in length, not including its tail, which adds another 65 to 70 centimeters, 26 to 28 inches. This makes it roughly the size of a small dog, but don't let its size fool you. Weighing in at around 5.5 to 8.6 kg, 12 to 19 pounds, this predator is a force to be reckoned with, combining strength, agility, and stealth. The fossa's physique matches its tree-living lifestyle. Its semi-retractable claws and flexible ankles, capable of rotating 180 degrees, make it an agile climber. Whether navigating the high canopies or stalking prey on the ground, the fossa is a master of its domain, perfectly at home in Madagascar's dense forests. Its diet is as diverse as the island's ecosystem, making it a true specialist of Malagasy wildlife. The fossa's menu primarily features lemurs, its favorite delicacy but it's not a picky eater. This carnivore also dines on rodents, birds, and even insects, showcasing its adaptability in the hunt. The fossa is active during both the day and the night and is considered cathemeral, meaning activity peaks may occur early in the morning, late in the afternoon, and late in the night. The fossa's hunting technique is a blend of stealth and agility. With a body built for the chase, it can pursue prey through the treetops with the grace of a gymnast and the precision of a marksman. On the ground, it's just as deadly, using its keen sense of smell and sharp vision to track down meals. The fossa's approach is patient and calculated. It waits for the perfect moment to strike, ensuring a successful hunt more often than not. Outside the breeding season, it hunts alone, but it may hunt in pairs or as mother young duos during the breeding season. In group hunts, one fossa chases lemurs from tree to tree, driving them to the ground where the other can catch them. The fossa is known for taking down larger lemur prey that's sometimes twice as big. In a world where survival hinges on the ability to adapt, the fossa's dietary habits and hunting skills are a perfect example of nature's ingenuity. It's a creature that has honed its skills over millennia, becoming a master of its environment and a key player in Madagascar's ecological balance. But the relationship between the fossa and the people of Madagascar is a tale of mystery and understanding. This elusive predator, often shrouded in the dense forest canopy, rarely crosses paths with humans. However, when it does, it's often met with mixed emotions. In some regions of Madagascar, the fossa is seen as a threat to poultry, leading to occasional conflicts with villagers. These incidents, while not common, have contributed to a somewhat strained relationship between the fossa and the local communities. In a land where folklore and wildlife are deeply intertwined, the fossa is sometimes featured in local myths and legends, and is often portrayed as a cunning and mystical creature. As awareness grows, so does the understanding of the fossa's crucial role in Madagascar's ecosystem. This has led to increased efforts to protect this unique species and its habitat, while also addressing the concerns of local communities. The fossa, a symbol of Madagascar's rich biodiversity, stands at a crossroads between the wild world and the human realm. Its future like that of many wildlife species, hinges on finding a balance between conservation 
and coexistence with humans. Today, fossas are classified as a vulnerable species, with only about 2,500 in the wilderness. As one of the island's top predators, fossas do not have natural enemies, but Madagascar's forests, the fossa's home and hunting grounds, are being diminished by deforestation, agriculture, and human settlement, leaving this elusive predator with an ever-shrinking territory. It is estimated that 90% of Madagascar's native forest habitat is gone, and what is left is considered a key biodiversity hotspot. Another threat to the fossa comes from hunting and persecution due to its misunderstood role in local ecosystems. Seen occasionally as a poultry predator, it faces retaliation from villagers. This conflict, fueled by a lack of awareness about the fossa's ecological importance, adds another layer of risk to its survival. Conservation efforts are underway to protect the fossa and its habitat. These include initiatives to preserve Madagascar's forests, research projects to better understand the fossa's ecology, and community outreach programs to foster coexistence between humans and this remarkable predator. The goal is not just to save the fossa, but to maintain the balance of an ecosystem where every species, including this top predator, plays a vital role. Its future hinges on its ability to reproduce and our ability to recognize and respect the intricate connections that bind all life in Madagascar's unique environment. Speaking of reproduction, the social and reproductive life of the fossa is as intriguing as are its hunting habits. These solitary creatures come together only during the breeding season. The mating rituals of the fossa are a rare glimpse into their otherwise hidden lives. During the breeding season, multiple males gather around a receptive female, often perched high in the trees. This gathering, known as a mating tree, becomes the stage for fierce competition among males. It's like the Animal Kingdom's version of a reality TV show, but the Madagascar edition. The males vie for the female's attention through displays of strength and agility, turning the treetops into an arena of rivalry and courtship. Whoever wins gets to chase away the other male and win the courtship of the female. Once fertilized, the female fossa also has the unique ability to delay implantation of the fertilized egg, ensuring that the timing of birth is optimal for the survival of her offspring. After a gestation period of about six to seven months, she gives birth to a litter of two to four young in a hidden den, often located in a secure and secluded spot like a hollow tree or a dense thicket. The young fossas are entirely dependent on their mother for the first few months. She nurtures them with devotion, teaching them the skills they'll need to survive in Madagascar's forests. As they grow, these young predators learn to climb, hunt, and navigate their environment, preparing for a life of solitary hunting. These interactions are crucial for the continuation of the species, and offer a rare window into the social structure of one of Madagascar's most enigmatic creatures. If you enjoyed today's video, check out our other videos and subscribe to the channel as we explore wildlife from around the globe.